Okay. Okay, yeah. yeah. Um, yeah. what do you want to say? yeah, my theory, I think that is, that is true. But that's me. And, um, yeah. Space, mold. Yeah. It molds. I s- I'll give a credit. I would still like to figure out what matter actually is then. Yeah. But I'm not, I'm, mat- mass, that's what I'm talking about, mass. Your hand is a mass object. It's a, like matter or mass. And nothing can move through it. Only, it can only bend around it or warp around it. It can't move through it. I in terms agree. of space. In terms yes. of space, yes. Like when you put your hand in water, the water won't travel through your hand, because that would just mean it would be like a sponge, wouldn't it? And you, you or have, if your hand was basically, like your hand would act like nothing. Yeah, but a sponge, tra- things travel through sponge because it has holes in it, so it's letting the space into because there's space for the hole for space to go through, but the rest it would just mold around. Because the holes are a part of the object, so... It's so to explain. something can go through nothing, but nothing can't go through something. Because all nothing can do is mould around something. It can't go through yeah. it. Yeah. And if there's holes in something, then nothing can go through. So, but, like, donut. Yeah, because that's part of the mass. The hole is part of the something. No, the hole is nothing. In in between the the donut. The hole is. He's the, explaining that as a space. The hole is part of the mass. So. The space. The hole is the not nothing. part of the mass. That's how the mass was formed with that hole. Well, not really. If you get a hole in your arm, nothing can tra- can go f- through it. As in nothing yes, can be in space. No, I don't because mean that hole nothing now can, become part I don't of think space. nothing can go through. I mean, space is nothing, so nothing can travel through your arm because nothing is space. Um, nothing is not space. If there was a hole in your arm, okay, that hole is part of space. Yep. And space is nothing between two points. That's what I'm saying. You can put something through that nothing. Yes, I can. I could. Exactly. But there's always something between the two points, which is nothing. <laughs> no. Um, I, <laughs> I think if there was space, true space, that would be absolutely nothing between two points. Outside the Nothing. universe. Now, one thing. That is true nothingness, and true space is true nothingness between two points. That's what I feel is the definition of space. That defines space, yes, it does. I'm not trying to define space, or I'm trying to define how space, how objects move through space, or how space moves around objects in space. How space moves around objects. Like you were saying before, how it deforms around, that's exactly what I think, but where, how it warps around objects, like mass. Space can't travel through mass, it can only warp around mass and deform into another a new universe. Wait, what? Deform into a new universe. <laughs> well, like, if it deforms, it's changing. It's constantly changing. Yeah. So yeah. it's something different. Well, technically, it doesn't have to change. If your hand... If you keep your hand flat on the table... If oh. I move my hand in the air, something has changed. Okay, if you if you cut off your hand, drain the blood, leave your hand on the table, 
your hand isn't going to move, therefore space doesn't move. But if I pick up my hand... Yeah. ...off the table... Yeah. ...wave it around... Yeah. ...then it's changed, space has changed. Because I'm deforming space. True, yeah. That is true. Yeah. I agree to that. But space can also stay still. So therefore, space deforms around mass. It could also stay still. It can't stay still, it's always moving. Yeah, if you, if you have a space... The way I feel space reacts with matter is that if matter does not move, space does not have to deform. And space does not entirely move, Lee. Um, it just it takes The deformation it is not really moving. Because nothing can't move. Now, when you put your hand in the air, that nothing doesn't move. It just def- deforms into a different size of nothing. It's a measurement, okay? If you take two points, just take two points on a ruler. If you move one point over, you're not moving the distance between those two points. You're just deforming the distance to make it bigger or smaller, depending on what direction you move it. And I think it's the same thing with space. Because space in a three-dimensional view is just an area. And when you move the points of that outside area, area it just deforms and it creates a different look to the space and it would deform to the points around it which would be your hand in this case and that's what i feel about it oh it's like it's like when you put your finger in water remember lee um you put your finger in water and kind of the water um deforms around your finger yeah even though it it kind of attaches to your finger still it well it's like saying if you were in like a pool of water and you were stood at the bottom and you were walking underneath the water, the water would deform around your whole body. Yeah. But the the water is still there. It's not moving. You're deforming the water around your body. The water is moving. Um, to change it but has to the move. water But the water is something. That's why it is moving. But space is nothing, so it can't move. That's take, the only take, difference there. To, to change. From, no, from nothing to change to nothing. I'm not yeah, saying that it moves, I'm saying that it deforms into something new. Something different. Yeah, it does. It deforms in a different three-dimensional shape. I agree to that. <laughs> but if it's nothing, it mustn't have any shape. But it does have a shape. But it's nothing. Space has... Shape, because space is between nothing has a shape. Something nothing doesn't and have that a shape. Something creates a sort of shape. Nah, I don't agree with you on that. But one. it has to be something to have a shape. Let no, me explain your box theory. Let me put it in these reasons. Say you have an object like a box, and inside there is absolutely nothing in there. So that means that it is space inside at that box. If you move the outside points of that, that box, you will have a different shape. You won't have a box shape, but you will have something different. However, there is still space inside that box, and that space has the shape of that box. But space is nothing, so there is nothing inside the box to make has, the shape. And that nothing is defined by the something You're thinking that of it, it as like... Between. Space is something inside the box which is making the shape, but space is nothing, so it can't make a shape, even though... It's not making the shape, but it is still defined by the shape of the something that defines it. (laughs) (laughs) Technically, technically, nothing doesn't move. It's like water, it could attack... Nothing can't have a shape, because it's nothing. It's just space emptiness. isn't exactly it's just, nothing. It's just emptiness. It can have a layer. <laughs> it doesn't space be- is an emptiness with objects, other, other matter and mass and 
stars and things inside it. It's nothing, really. It's nothing. Other than... But the way I think of shape is I think of shape as a measurement of nothing in a three-dimensional area. Okay? Um... But the shape is the shape space of space. Is... It's not the shape of space because space doesn't have a shape. Space does have a shape. Space doesn't have a shape. Space is the shape of nothing. Nothing has a shape. Doesn't have a shape because it's nothing. But nothing can have shape, and it turns into space. But space is nothing. Space is nothing between something. And you can measure that between something as a distance to create a shape. Think of it like on a piece of paper, you draw a square. Now there is, you can clearly see the square because of the outside points and sides. Between them is nothing. Okay, but then nothing has a shape defined by the points and the sides. And that's where you get the space. Nothing doesn't have to feel two points, necessarily. But if it's nothing... No, it doesn't. Nothing does not have to be between two points. No, it doesn't have to feel the space between two points. It could simply be a layer between, like, next... It's hard to explain, but... If there's an object, nothing will protect it. If nothing is between two points, it is space. If nothing was outside and only had one one side to it, like a point, it's not space. Think of it like the edge of the universe. There is nothing outside of the edge of the universe because there is no space. There is nothing. Because there is nothing to measure it with. There is no two points. That's when you can have space. Now, inside the universe is where all the space exists because there is a point and another point you can measure it to. Legend, do you want to carry on with that point, or should I? I'm just thinking at the moment. Alright. I do agree with the two points theory, but... I don't think it has a shape. No, it, it doesn't have to have a shape. It, it has to have a layer of some sort. Because I don't think you can measure space. It's infinite. I think you can measure space. It's just em- infinite emptiness. It's. It doesn't. No, it's not. Uh, it doesn't have to be infinite. Like I said, with the box. If you just have a box with nothing inside it, that's space. And you can measure that box. You measure it with the outside dimensions to measure space. Hmm. Because that space has the shape of the box. You see what I'm saying? It doesn't have to fill the space. It doesn't have to fill the space. Nothing doesn't have to fill the space. It merely has to put a layer between both points, if that makes sense. Well, space is nothing, and nothing does not have to be space. But if nothing is between two points, it has to be space. It has to be. Because space can be measured. Space is always between two points. Therefore, it has. Therefore, it can be measured, and if you measure it, then it has to have dimensions. And with those dimensions, you can measure its shape. But if and space, it is space is constantly expanding, so space is in between two points. So space would be from one end to the other. But what about? Um, vertical space and would that not be a if it's expanding in two separate directions would it not also be expanding upwards or downwards as well as left to the left or to the right yes it would be expanding in all directions so would not that not be more than two points 
but you can have space between three points, four points, five points. All that matters is that there is at least two points. You can right. have an infinite amount of points, and you can have space between it. As long as there is at least two points, there will be space. Or well, even if there was no points, there'd still be space. Because no, there wouldn't. If there was nothing in the there universe, would. there would still be space. If there was nothing in the universe, there wouldn't be anything, not even space. There would be nothing. It wouldn't, because it wouldn't be you don't ha- have anything to measure that nothing to become space. So that's like saying, if a tree falls in the forest, can you hear it? <laughs> no, I can't hear anything. I'm, I'm going deaf. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so if nothing was in the universe, there'd still be space. There won't wouldn't be anything. Which because space? You have nothing there wouldn't be space anything with. because space is nothing. But space is nothing between points, and there's no points because it's ever, it's nothing. So oh yeah, so it's nothing. <laughs> <laughs> If everything was nothing, it would be nothing. Which would be space. There would be no space, there would be no but you objects, said space no matter, is nothing. no mass, would be nothing. So if space is nothing, then nothing is space. So if there's no, no space, no, 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 if there's no, no, no universe... It's like, saying, it's like saying every square is a rectangle, but not every rectangle is a square, okay? Every space is nothing, but not every nothing is space. <laughs> 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 okay. Um... But as I said, if there was nothing in the universe, space would still be there. No. If there was nothing in the universe, there would be no space. Because space is defined, space is defined by at least two points, and there is no two points. So if there was nothing nothing in the universe, there'd be absolutely nothing. There'd space be absolutely can, nothing. Space can be defined as... But space can't be defined as anything, so... But space is the shape of nothing. And the shape is so defined by... So if there it. was nothing in the universe, there would be nothing. Space is defined by right. the shape of nothing. So right. if there was nothing in the universe, there would be space. It would have no dimensions. It would be nothing, which means there would be no space. Technically, there would be space. But you can't have the shape of nothing. Does air have a, have a shape? Air does have a shape. So, so does space. Because if you have a box of air, that air is shaped as a box. Well, I mean, if it's outside the box, it's just flying around. And it's one. Hmm. If there was nothing... On the other side of the box, and there the only space, existed a box. The space in the air right here isn't between two points, or between any points, it's just space, it's just there. What I think... Alright, let me put it this way. If there only existed a box, okay, and there... Even if there was a box, and there was nothing inside the box, which makes space the shape, nothing the shape of the box, there'd also be nothing outside the box, which would also make another shape. There would be nothing outside the box, but there would be space inside the box. There'd also be space outside the box. There would not be space outside the box. So space inside the box is going to be space outside the box. No, there would only be space inside the box. There's no, no, nothing no, no. outside the no, box. No, no, no. What he means is, because there's a box, there's two points. It Outside the box, there's still two points. That's like saying, there if I had a box, there's the air box. inside the box, or something inside the box, but it's not outside the box. No, there's still two points, even outside the box. Therefore, space still exists outside the box. It is. There is not still two points outside the box. If there was a box in the universe, just in the middle of the universe, and there was space inside the box, there would also be space outside the box, because the space would have had to get inside the box. 
So it's able to go no, outside. No, because space can be created from nothing. No, it can't. Okay, let me put it, it this way. Points. Take your hands and put them together, and then move your hand out a bit. You just created an area from nothing. All the points of your hand are moving away from each other. And all those points still connected are creating more and more space inside. Here's another idea. Take a balloon and blow in it, okay? The area inside is getting bigger and bigger, yet you are still using the same balloon. Okay? So you are creating essentially space from nothing. It's not from Just nothing. By changing the You're blowing up the balloon the bal- from oxygen that has come from outside. Okay. <laughs> okay. From oxygen that has come from <laughs> the emptiness That's of just what is around you. How the universe. I don't works, believe that. Okay. Boy. I do not believe that little theory you got there. <laughs> Lol. <Long. laughs> the balloon right. theory doesn't work for me because that air has come from okay. somewhere. It's not just came. Let it's not just been blown universe, from then. your body, from nowhere. <laughs> Okay, drop it then. If you don't understand it, All drop right. it. I'm not now, understanding it, I'm the... debating. This is the debate. Okay. This is this is what it's all about. Take the universe and start it with the Big Bang. You, you start with nothing. And then, then all of a sudden, everything occurs, okay? All the matter that exists within the universe is in a softball at one point. Can be contained within the area of a softball. Everything that you know and exist has been inside the area of a softball at one point. Yeah. Everything inside there is all that exists, and there is technically space in there. Now, outside this sphere, there is absolutely nothing. Why? Because there is no nothing to compare between the softball and any other point outside of the nothing. But Therefore, there is no space no, between no, no. two points on the outside edge of that softball. There had to be something there before for the Big Bang to expand into. You can't just expand there was from nothing. nothing. Was the Big Bang. So oh. If there was nothing, there, there was wouldn't nothing have been a Big bang, bang because there was nothing to create a, ba- a Big Bang. If there was nothing, it would just be nothing. It would just be nothing at all. There would be nothing there. There'd be no Big Bang this because... This is where it gets complicated. There'd be nothing to react this is to make the Big Bang. This and where a lot of businesses How and can theorists a big have... Bang, how can a Big Bang be created from nothing? That's Ooh. essentially what it is. But it can't. Okay? Everything well, was impossible. created from nothing. That is the current theory in present oh, that's presented by theorists around the world. Everything was created from nothing. Now let but me nothing, tell you. Nothing can be created from nothing, because it's n- it's nothing. There's no nothing. <laughs> I know nothing. what you're saying. <laughs> you can't create anything from nothing. Because There's be you don't something know there what happens. To something. You can't be created from nothing. It's hard to explain because we can't prove nothing what can't caused the big thing. Anything. There's we gotta can't be prove. That. <laughs> I'm sorry, Lee, I can't help you. Because <laughs> nobody knows what causes the Big Bang. You, you can't you can't prove it. God did it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> That's one of the theories. I think we'll discuss that next time. <laughs> Does God <laughs> exist? I don't think so. Oh, guys, I've got a good All right. All right. Have a good one, Dendan. Thanks, YouTube. <laughs> Come back next time. <laughs> Goodbye. Bye. We don't have an answer for that one, but oh well. <laughs>